creation. We'll start with gift shop. Go to file, new. The size of your new canvas should be 640 pixels by 400 pixels. And you want it to be transparent. Click OK. Next, you're going to find your picture online following fair use. Save the picture. If you haven't already, you're going to go, then you're going to open it. File, open. And I'm going to open the photo. Now I want to scale this image to the right size to make sure that it is um, the size I want for my canvas. So I go to image, scale image, and I'm going to make it 600. Notice it will adjust automatically and just click scale. Now I want to copy it from this canvas onto the canvas I created. Right click, edit, copy. Come to my new canvas, right click, edit, paste. I'm now done with the original. I could throw it away. <clears throat> I need to anchor my photo, so just right click, anchor layer. That's going to be my background. I'm going to keep it blank. I'm going to right click, duplicate layer and start my text. Double click on the name here. Make sure it is the first name of your animation, the first word of your animation. Choose your font um, tool. Choose the size, style, all that. Color. Click where you want to type and then just like the size of that, so I'm going to select that text and I'm going to make it bigger. I'll do about 30, that's when I see the number. <coughs> I'm going to do that. Grab my move tool, kind of move my text where I want it to be. All right. Now I need to merge that with my background, so I click merge down. And now that becomes one layer. All right, now I build on it with my next word. I right click, duplicate the layer. This time it's going to say Mrs. Cook Talks. So I put that in there, grab my text tool. Notice this layer has Mrs. Cook on it already. I just need to add the talks. So click the text tool. Number 30 was my size. Line it up. Clearly, I'm not very lined up, so I'm going to move it. Make sure you're moving the text, not the photo. Mrs. Cook talks. Oh, I need to add a comma in there. Mrs. Cook talks, comma. All right, and I'm going to do. I'm going to merge that down. Duplicate the layer. the word all. That's what I'm going to add here. So on my text, 30, got that. Mrs. Cook talks, comma, all. Again, my text is not quite in line. You either want it to be in line or intentionally out of line. Mrs. Cook talks, all. Merge down. Duplicate the layer. Rename this one so you can keep track of what everything is. Mrs. Cook talks all I want 30. Everything looks good. I make sure your spelling, grammar, punctuation, capitalization is accurate. Oh, don't do that. Edit, undo. You can tell you have the text when it changes colors like down. Keep repeating this until you have all your layers merged or all the text you want. Then you go File, Export, Name it, Animation.GIF, Export. Oh, 
I'm gonna call mine Beam Animation 2. Make sure you know where it's going. Dodges. Mine's going into where I want it. I click Export. I animate, and I believe anywhere from 850 to 1000 is a good speed. Export. And if I go and look for that project, Beam animation to double click should be in your H drive, my bad. You should be able to see it building. Obviously mine's not finished, but that's the gist of it. 